In the previous lesson, we were introduced to simple interest versus compound interest. In this lesson, we're just going to practice simple interest calculations. This first question says that you deposit 1,200 Rand into a savings account which pays you 5.5% per year. If no other money is added, how much money will you have? in three years. Okay, so in this kind of question, interest is good because it's going to make your money that you are saving go up. So what you'll do is you'll take 1,200 Rand and you'll, well, let's say, what is 5.5% of 1,200? And so of means times, and if you had to work that out, that'll be 66 Rand. So you're going to earn 66 Rand, but that is per year. So what you can then do is multiply that by three because you're looking for three years. And so if you had to work out 66 multiplied by three, you get 198. So you get 198 Rand. So how much money will you have? Well, you will have 1,200 plus the amount that you've earned over the three years. And so you'll have a total of 1,000 300, let's just write that a bit better, 1,398 Rand. And you could say 00V zero, zero if you wanted to. So that is the answer for that one. This one says you take out a loan. Okay, so with a loan, interest is bad because you're borrowing 15,000 Rand from the bank and now you have to pay it back. But they're going to make you pay back more. So it says that you'll pay it back at the end of four years. Interest is 8% per year. How much will you pay back? Okay, so we are going to say 8% of 15,000, okay, and if we work that out, we end up with 1,200 Rand. But now we need to keep in mind that that is 8% for one year, but we have four years. So we're going to multiply that by four, and that's going to be 4,800 Rand. So that is the extra penalty that the bank is going to make you pay back. So how much do you have to pay back? Well, you have to pay back the original 15,000 Rand, of course, plus the penalty of 4,800 Rand. And so you're going to pay back a total of 19,800 Rand.